loved ones today I will show you the easiest way to cook side dishes like mashed potato and broccoli with mushroom so here are the ingredients broccoli chop into pieces or cut onion medium size chop four cloves of garlic chop or mince, two pieces of medium carrots, one can of mushroom, slice, salt and pepper, oyster sauce, three tablespoons of oil and hot chili sauce, and we are now ready to cook. All the ingredients are prepared. Now we will heat the pan. Then after heating, we will add the oil. 3 to 4 teaspoon tablespoon of oil. Now saute the garlic and onion, mix until golden brown, then we will add the mushroom, add the carrots. So now I'm doing multitasking while cooking this broccoli and mushroom, I'm already boiling the potato in the other pan. We will mix them and then cover just a few minutes. Now we can add the broccoli and then mix. We add the broccoli in the last as to not to overcook them. Then add the oyster sauce. I mix them with 3 tablespoons of water and 1 teaspoon of sugar to balance the taste. Mix them. From the other side, you can see the potato is now boiling. Just boil until it becomes soft. Now we can add the salt and black pepper. Then we will add the hot chili sauce. 
1 tablespoon or you can add more if you want to be spicy. This is just optional. If you don't like it to be hot, you can omit this. Or no need to add chili sauce if you don't like it to be spicy. It's okay. It will be delicious anyway. Mix all together and we are almost done. After 10 minutes, we will check again and mix. So I think it's already done or cooked. We can now turn off the stove and we will just simmer it. We will cover. Okay. On the other side, I'm checking the potatoes and it's also almost done, a bit soft. It's now ready to serve guys, enjoy! Now we'll proceed to mashed potato. We will need three large potatoes and we will boil them until soft. Then we can sprinkle some salt to it. We are done! After that, set aside and let it cool and we will peel the potatoes and prepare all the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. The potato, 30 grams of butter. We need milk, like 3 to 4 tablespoons, then salt and pepper. We'll start to mash the potato. Mash 
smash them completely Now we can add the melted butter, unsalted one and mash them until it will become like creamy We can now add 3 to 5 tablespoons of liquid milk so that the consistency will be creamier. Then finally, we can sprinkle it with a pinch of salt and pepper. And we are done guys! So we will just mix it and ready to serve. You can now scoop your mashed potato into your serving plates. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share, thanks!